I would like to share a project I did um, building a parabolic trough solar collector. This is an image of it in finished form when I first built it and before I mounted it on a stand. You'll notice I've got two half inch uh, copper pipes here. I painted those uh, with a flat black high temperature paint as my heat collector tubes. And uh, the two tubes on the ends, I made this little manifold arrangement to combine them into one. I thought the two tubes would give me more efficiency because there would be more surface area exposed to the uh, focused sunlight. This is another shot of it from the end. And uh, the way I did this, we're going a little bit about how I built it. On the internet, you can find dozens of uh, websites talking about how to make a uh, parabolic trough collector. Uh, the formula you can use is y equals x squared divided by 4p, p being the focus point in this case, the 6 here. That was an arbitrary decision on my part to make the focus 6 inches from the, from the bottom. And uh, y being this direction, x being this direction, and uh, you can see my Excel formula up here for these cells. Excel makes this easy. You can just, um, you can plot out the points. What I did was manually plot them on poster board, use that as a template to transfer that to um, plywood. So you basically plot your points, plot them out, cut that out, use it as a template, and you put it on plywood. Here's how I'm starting to build this. Um, this is a little better shot. You can see here, this shows the parabolic shape that I had. And the insert that I cut out of this plywood, I just used as to fill up the top part of these ends. And uh, the reflective material um, it could be an issue for you. Um, I found this from a company um, that sold big rolls of this commercially. And uh, they uh, um, would only sell me large rolls. I said, I don't need a large roll. All I need is a, uh, a small piece. So they actually sent me two samples of this about this size, uh, something like about, uh, uh, they were like four by four feet, something like that. Um, it was great. So it's got a nice, durable, reflective coating on aluminum. And unfortunately, it's been long enough, I don't remember the company, but uh, that's how I did it and attached this aluminum foil. I think I tacked it down into the plywood don't use plain plywood like I'm showing here. That was a mistake. You need to use treated wood or cedar or something that is rot resistant. Um, you'll find out real quick, these things are very directionally dependent on, on how they're oriented to the sun. To make sure it's perpendicular to the sun, I mounted this little um, rod here so that when it's directly at the sun, basically it casts no shadow. And that actually works very well. I've got some of those on solar panels as well. This is another shot of that here. And uh, this is some experiments I did, uh, just seeing how the it would transfer heat. I had just a bucket of water, a, a, a pump, circulated water through it, you know, out in the in full sun. Just looked at the temperature rise in the bucket, uh, see what it would do. Um, and here I had another idea, the idea being uh, my one of my daughters here with it, and that we would boil water, make steam, steam come up, come into this radiator here, and condense, come back down, and just have some sort of a continuous, almost like a heat pipe arrangement, being able to take sunlight and boil water, make steam, and use the, let the vapor come up, condense, and so forth. And... Uh, Mounting that in that kind of uh, orientation was going to be difficult. So what I did is I ended up mounting it horizontally. Just used galvanized pipe and a T here. Just drilled holes in the ends with normal pipe fittings. And uh, and I buried a like a, a treated wood fence post, drilled a big hole in it, and put this pipe down there. And it, it'll spin on this like a little axle I've got down there. So it'll rotate. Uh, 360 degrees and I can tilt it any direction I want. And this is the hose coming up to our radiator. And uh, this is another shot of it here, different angle. And uh, to be able to control the tilt, I made this homemade uh, little crank here with some rope 
and uh, I could just crank this and get the, the tilt that I wanted and uh, that actually worked pretty well and uh, but um, I found out real quick that you know these things are very very dependent on how it's oriented to the Sun um, now this device unless I had a tracking system it would just probably is not going to give me the efficiency I wanted especially to boil water to make steam I've got about a five minute video that I've got that I'm going to show you uh, hope you enjoy it it shows some of the uh, experiments that I did showing how dependent um, this device is on orientation to the sun. Well, if you build one of these things, I think you'll have fun doing it. it and it, it gets a lot of attention. People come to the house and they look at it and say, what is that? So you'll have fun with the project. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you why your parabolic trough solar collector is gonna to have to be pointed directly at the sun. If you can, if hopefully you can see this in the camera, but um, I got a flashlight 90 degrees to here. So it's, imagine the sunlight shining directly in to this. Now as this moves across here, the reflection is following that parabola. You'll notice down here the spot on my, my heat collector tubes is staying pretty much on it. As it comes down this way, it starts to reflect on the bottom side of it. It's a little harder to see. And as you come around here, it's right on top. And the same thing as you come down this way. So basically, it's hard to see that camera there, I know, but um, as long as the sun's shining directly at this, it doesn't matter where the rays are coming in, they're gonna find their way to these collector tubes. This is why with one of these parabolic trough collectors, it's got to be pointed directly at the sun for it to be effective. And also, if you've got a hazy day, like here in South Carolina, the light coming from all different directions, there's a dramatic difference in the amount of light that hits on this tube because it's coming from different directions. It doesn't always find its way here. This is something I did, really didn't realize until I built one of these things myself and start experimenting just how sensitive it is to position. It's about 1.30 on uh, March um, 21st. This is the parabolic trough collector. What I've done is I've taken the hoses loose from each end and just put a piece of conduit there, unfortunately. It's, gripping a little I just taped it on just for a little quick demonstration got one over here on this side too and I put some water in there if you look at my um, little perpendicular orientation indicator see this way it's straight down indicating it's, it's directionally this way right at the Sun that way it goes to an angle that way it goes to an angle now what I need to do is tilted up directly at the sun and uh, and the water inside the pipe should start boiling. I've just got everything sort of makeshift but this uh, crank down here is something I installed so I could crank it and tilt it get a better angle and uh, so what I'm going to do is crank it until I've got the indicator up there with virtually no shadow indicating it's pointed right at the sun and we'll We'll see what happens if the water will boil. Okay, I've got it tilted pretty much directly at the sun. If you look at the orientation detector or indicator, it's essentially no shadow. So we should be in pretty good shape here. It is starting to heat up. We'll just have to give it a few more minutes because the water was cold when I put it in there. It hasn't even been five minutes and we're starting to hear some boiling. In the pipes. I don't know if you can hear that. We should see steam here in just a couple minutes. It doesn't take long when you get it pointed directly at the sun. And the other thing, remember, 
these things can get hot enough and spew steam, it, it can be dangerous. So you have to watch yourself. You could get scalded. There's one other thing that's probably worth showing. That's when we change the orientation, how quickly uh, the temperature will drop off so you don't boil water. We'll take a look at that. Crank this thing back down. Until it's not aligned directly at the sun. We'll still keep it out here towards the sun, but not aligned directly at it. You can see the orientation detectors shows that shadow. So the sunlight is now off the focus is not on the collector tubes. As you can see, it stopped boiling almost instantly. Pretty, pretty amazing how sensitive these things are to position.